Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. The 4th of July gave a Brooklyn Center couple another reason to celebrate. But as Eric Nelson explains, the extra celebration didn't come without some anxious moments. Ah, oh, she's a little cutie. The July 4th fireworks came early for Abby Vanyo and Jacob Schindler. I had to tell him to pull over because we weren't going to make it. Yeah, I, had, I just, I knew that we weren't going to. I hadn't even accelerated to 60 yet. Abby gave birth to Griffin Schindler Monday morning on the side of I-94 in Minneapolis as the couple was en route to Abbott Northwestern Hospital. We both yeah. still thought we were going to make it to the hospital. We just thought it was yeah, going to be no epidural. We gonna... Baby Griffin, however, had other ideas yeah, and couldn't that. wait any longer. Her whole labor and delivery was a half hour. With the help of the Minnesota State Patrol and Minneapolis firefighters. I can't thank the, the state yeah. troopers and the right. EMTs enough. Griffin was born next to one of Minnesota's busiest interstate highways. They mostly were just like helping her with her breathing. Um, he was like holding the blanket so that I could take the baby and just wrap her up right away. I just knew what I had to do and I didn't think I was going to know what I had to do, but it just kind of happened. Because she was born on Independence Day, Griffin is truly a Yankee doodle dandy. I wanted her to be born on 4th of July. Jacob described Griffin's I-94 birth as the coolest thing he has ever been a part of and now wants his future kids to also enter the world in a unique way. I got to up the ante. Now it's got to be twins on the side of a mountain. <laughs> in Minneapolis, I'm Eric Nelson, Channel 12 News. And Griffin is Abby and Jacob's second child. They left the hospital today.